How you doing? Hey, how's it going, man? Chosen, what was it like to be a part of this? Because it seemed like a very fun role for you. Ah, it was a dream. It was a dream come true. Uh, this role allowed me to do everything I, I love to do from singing and dancing and acting and to be able to put that all in one movie. It, it's an entertainer's dream. Yeah, exactly. And, and to come out of, you're doing the horror genre. <laughs> now to do something more lighthearted and fun. How, how was that for you? How has it been? Because especially with the dancing, I could imagine the choreography was t- was a lot. Yes, I mean, I've never danced before, like on a professional level. You know, I could hit a little two-step at a party, but... You know, this is my first time having to really learn choreography, and it, it was a really cool and awesome challenge. And we had a great team behind us with our choreography team and our uh, music supervisors and execs. And uh, I'm just glad that we were able to shoot some really awesome, epic dance scenes that hopefully get the family moving in uh, some beautiful home dance mo- memories. Yeah. And what was it like to for like this? Since this is like a retelling of Cinderella, you're technically like the Cinderella character. What was yeah. it like to jump into that role and actually change up the script for, from what's been told? I'm, I could never imagine I'd get this opportunity. It just felt so blessed. And uh, I just wanted to show that, like, sup- we all want to be Superman, but Clark Kent is enough. And I think that's what this movie is really about, is that you don't have to be perfect. And we all battle with um, self-doubt and, um, you know, lack of confidence at times. But through learning to love yourself and loving who you are and where you come from and uh, all the beautiful, unique things that make you you, you're able to really inspire and, and affect and touch other people. And I feel like that's Elle's journey throughout this movie. And that's what really drew me to his character. Yeah. And I think it's going to attract and it's going to really reach a lot of kids uh, and families who watch this. Uh, one thing I have to ask, since it is Nicarella. Mm-hmm. What's your favorite kicks? For me, it's always been the Jordans since day one. <laughs> what are yours? I'm an Air Force guy. I love Air Force Ones. Uh, a nice crispy pair of Air Force Ones. You know, maybe I'll take out the laces and, you know, play with those. And that's how I add my own personal taste to it, my own steez. Yeah. But I'm an Air Force guy. If you catch me, you're probably going to catch me in an Air Force One. Awesome. So with that, did you, how much of that sneaker culture that you love with the Air Force One did you bring into your role? Well. Honestly, it made it so real and authentic for me because like even me growing up in, in Atlanta, Georgia, that's a, a huge part of our of the culture here. And uh, a lot of people's cultures is what shoe are you wearing? Oh, what does that say about you? You know, oh, you're rocking a van. You're, you're wearing Jordans. Oh, people really live and die by the shoe that they that they wear because it has such an emotional weight. Yeah. And I feel like that's why people will relate to Sneakerella no matter where you're from, because mm-hmm everyone can relate to their favorite pair of shoe and, and they really have a memory attached to it and a feeling that, that you could do anything with a, a new pair of kicks. So. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Chosen. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Love the, love the film. Thank you. God bless you. Have a great day.